Ruby, Volume 8, Chapter 14, The Final Word. I hope that final word isn't STAY, because I like Marrow. Uh, I didn't even talk about Watts at the end of the last thoughts, because, like, he did a lot of things, too. Like, this man has gotten into the frickin', you know, hive mind of Atlas Academy system thingy again. Five seasons later, and he's still in charge of the frickin' thing. He got into the corporate thing them up but the military he got into the military Ay. and now he's freaking controlling everything from behind the scenes and gonna make sure the bomb drops because Harriet's lost her bloody mind to just focus on loyalty because that's because that's what Clover would do Clover would commit genocide how low do you think of your mat of your mentor I know he's your father figuring all this stuff and you don't know where to go but it's like take a step back from five seconds it's like this is what my, you know, daddy figure would do. Your daddy would commit mass genocide? Not much of a father there, now is this? Like, okay, yeah. He didn't help Crow take down the, the uh, murder and stuff like that. That was a pretty bad move on his end. He w but it wasn't like, not only will I not help you, Crow, I'm going to help Tyrion to take over the entire world and then burn it to the ground. He was misguided, but he wasn't a murderer. You're about to be one. Unless Vine and Robin can stop you, Harriet. Oy. Run! I miss when the ASOS were just like, oh, they seem like nice people. There's a bit of an edge to them, but they're, they seem fine. No. Ugh. And that's the last time you're going to see the Volume 8 intro. And I don't think I'm going to do Volume 9 next. i got to do the music and the, the stuff next. So they're gonna week off from Ruby. But anyway, focusing on the decaying corpse of Monstro. And Salem's putting herself back together again. No, Winter, do not blame me. Why don't you just use your two individual guns rather than this new mega gun you got out of nowhere? Everything. No! You have sacrificed everyone else. You closed the borders. You squeezed Mantle until it broke. You know that those two guns you had that beat the crap at you know, Watts? Why don't you use them instead? And no one is grateful. Ooh. Ooh. See, use those instead. They're clearly doing more damage. I shouldn't be telling you how to win because I don't want you to win, but still. No! Not an option. Priority one. Weiss. All she's ever wanted is the maiden power. I can buy you all time. Her penny is No, she's not getting the maiden power. There's no way this bitch is getting her way in the end. Worthy of it. I'm right here. I'm what you want. <sighs> I want it all. She weren't worthy of any of it. Get up! You're making a mistake, Harriet. What happened to Clover? I Shut don't up already! That was Clover going to work on the throw anyway. She's using the terrain to her advantage and focusing on using the bomb. Get out of the way! Here, please! Don't do this! They're still evacuating in Mantle! Why can't you just let me do my job? Because you're our friend! And we won't let you go through with this! No! Huh? Leave her alone! I 
the rescue. Good, now stay out. You're going to Brazil. Deja vu, Weiss? Ooh. How'd you come back to the portal? It's a one-way... Uh, I guess this is the part you enter on. No! The autopilot's locked! We gotta go! There's no time to make it out of the blast range. I've killed us all. I'm sorry. Well, that's not true. We all just jump. Fine. What are you doing? Oh, you can! I can. If it means saving all my friends. Fine. you wanted thank you for your service i hope it was worth it so that's what that poster meant to me Ooh. nice ah come on cinder cinder's gonna stab them both stab you should have never threatened me of course and you should have never been born. Ooh. Why am I reminded of Andrew Garfield at No Way Home? Crap. Everyone into the abyss. So that's how they get there in Volume 9. <laughs> yes! Joanna, any huntsman that went through that gate, bring him here. It figures that a Schnee would be the last one standing, letting all her friends die first. You're just mad because the Schnees and you have a similar backstory. You wouldn't know anything about friends. Most of the Schnees are good people. I wish I knew we get back in. She never went through. She's back. Oh, fuck. Know where the others are, but why she means her? kill her so that someone else gets the Let maiden powers. Change. This one thing, trust me.
Why must you hurt all the characters I care about, specifically? Why are they only my characters? Should be you. It was your power after all. No, Penny. You were always the real maiden at heart. I was just a machine. Just following orders. Not anymore, though. You were my friend. Thank you for trusting me with this. When you're gone... I won't be gone. I'll be part of you. Good. I'm glad. Destiny I chose for you is Penny. You chose nothing. This was a gift. That's it. One hit kill. But again, he did just do the, the jock, so I don't surprise the world. now, Cinder? Your track record against the Seasonal Maidens aren't very good. Everyone go to the Shadow Realm! I think I feel I killed a woman. about John. My man is not allowed to have a break. You cannot be serious. Ugh. This freaking series better end with John being the one to murder Salem or I swear to fucking God. to have the Winter Maiden with them.
Okay, fine. Iron One can have the kill. So long as he dies. Or she dies, I mean to say. I... I failed you again, Master. They used the staff to save thousands. Before our allies fell, Neapolitan... killed Ruby. And before That's Ruby and her teammates fell, they used the lamp's final question. I, I couldn't stop them. I couldn't even stop the Maiden from escaping without putting the relics in jeopardy. I'm... I'm sorry. You're lucky you came back with the relics. In pursuit of a new world, no cost is too great. You've done well, Cinder. Our work here is done. <sighs> We're in worse hands than we were in the end of season six. You said been two volumes, it feels like we've staff. regressed. I assume you rid the world of their creation. What shooting sale I'm gonna do? What did you create in its stead? I merely added more flames to the fires of Atlas. <laughs> Watts can't get out. He's going to die there. And that's checkmate. Where's the water coming from? Well, then again, it is an ice village. That water's gotta come from somewhere. from the server, but I don't remember where. <sighs> Atlas and Mantle have fallen to Salem. We've got lost both the relics. Everyone is in every one of our heroes, well not every one of our heroes, but most of our heroes is, are stuck in this void. <sighs> I didn't think they were going to be sent in the void. Like, with Ruby, I just figured that they were going to go, like, to another way place, and they just happened to be this weird place i i knew oh now i realize where the song is from it's the pennies oh mm. <sighs> finish that train of thoughts thought that they were just gonna like go to another world that just would have happened to have all the stuff i knew I know a little bit about Volume 9, but I try to keep the spoilers at a minimum. Mind you to be, to not know spoilers on the internet, you have to live under a rock. Even then, it's not guaranteed. Back to this. God damn it. Uh, I knew she was gonna die, I just didn't know Jean was gonna be the one to kill her. I thought that Cinder would do it or something, you know? Okay, I didn't know how she was gonna die, but maybe sacrifice herself so Ruby survives or something. I don't know. Why is it my guy? <laughs> oh, I have left this son. Uh, and he's not even in the series anymore. Okay, it might be in nine. I don't know. It might be in a future volume again. I don't know. But ugh. <sighs> Salem won in the end. Life of a Grim is just like, yeah, that's. doesn't bar it barely counts.
Trust me, that he gets to deal with. Not only did he lose Pyrrha, who was going to be a full main, but he had to take the life of another main. Why is it John every time? And of course, my man just loses this entire season. Because he's not allowed to win. Ever. <laughs> we go to jail. Uh, Rooster King would go to jail. Oh, yeah. Cinder's still alive. Ironwood's most likely died along with Watts. Juxney's most likely dead. Lots of deaths in this one, really. Is it too late to go to Volume 2 to watch Volume 2 again? <laughs> Looking back at Volume 2, perhaps I treated you too harsh. Or too mediocrely. I don't know. Volume 4. Ugh, I'll go back to mediocrity. <laughs> uh. Sauron has both of the two of the four relics. The, the one thing that can kill her. Which I actually, now I think of that, would be the best place to take them, because if he has all four relics, then we have to go very far in her if we want to kill her with it. <coughs> but now she's probably gonna try to just, well now she's actually explaining what she's gonna do. She used them to destroy this world. Cause you know, wiping out the entire human race wasn't good enough for her. I need some murder too. At least the Winter Maiden powers went to a friend. Someone we can actually genuinely trust. Because Fall Maiden powers are with Cinder. We Raven's kind of in an unknown territory. It's like, eh? Why, Winter's at least on our team. She has it, she's a little iffy, but she's far more trustworthy than Raven. Evil wins, kids. Just frustrating the fact that we failed in every single scenario. At least the people of Manto and Atlas are safe, though. That's one good to come out of this. People are alive. Please wait two years to get an explanation as to what the funk this is. Well, unless you're kind of trailer. I'm getting Kingdom Hearts vibes, although that just could be because of the freaking waves and stuff. I'm not gonna get into volume 9 immediately again. I'm probably gonna go over the music with Winter's Gift and maybe I'll do a fan thing. I don't know. Just something to mix up a bit. Did then immediately go right back into the same old, same old. Mix up a bit by going into the same thing I always do. Uh, depends on how I feel. Ugh. Goddamn. I just. Well, Watts is out of the picture, most likely. Although, I can't, again, I can't rule him out completely because this is an anime and I can't say they're 100% dead. I don't know. Then again, Ruby seems to have permadeath, so I don't know. We can't afford Chris Sabat anymore. He's too expensive. Kill him. <laughs> kill Chris Sabat? Okay, no, kill Watts. We can't actually murder Chris Sabat. <laughs> the backlash would be too severe and we got enough people heads... We got enough people going after our heads. God, if they imagine if they actually were in her God, there'd be no coming back. Oh, Christ. And now I'm just making speculation and stuff. Oh, frick, what am I doing? Uh, at least we got most of Team G Well, we got Ren, Nora, and we got a ragtag group to watch out for the people and vacuum us, so that's something. Hopefully, they'll be okay. Imagine I, I, we did not send them all the way there just so they could get murdered. You think some of these people would have actual semblance? Wasn't there an entire fucking academy on Atlas of people who could help train them? Amazing how there's only like six people who would, had powers. You think there'd be mo you think there'd be more of them just helping out? But I guess most of them were used in the front lines in the war against Salem and probably lost their lives, so now all we have left is the humans. I mean, maybe there's one or two stragglers that still have powers, but for the most part, it's probably just going to be normal, everyday humanity. <sighs> well, I say they use lost lives in the front lines, but mostly, no, because Ironwood uses 
Robots mostly. I don't know. There's probably something mixed up in there. I don't know. And what was even the point of Crow and Robin taking out about Aesop's and the freaking bomb? Ultimately, Atlas and Mantle fell. So what difference does it make? And then again, I guess they did save the... You know, there were people still escaping. So maybe it's good that they did stop the bomb from going off and unfortunately lost Vine out of it. <sighs> First Clover, now Vine. Are you happy now? We're killing everyone in our team that's named after a plant. Are you happy now, Harriet? I really hope you are, because someone has to be after all of this. <sighs> I'm most surprised by the fact... Well, I'm not most surprised, but I am surprised by the fact that Harriet was able to hold her own against Crow. I guess it's probably because of the confined spaces and not the fact that she was probably trying to move the bomb and Crow was just trying to keep it off. His focus was less on fighting Harriet and more on making sure the bomb doesn't drop, which is correctly placed, to be fair. It kind of feels like we like we need to give these characters something to do, which I guess comes up enough. Make sure Crow isn't there for the finale because we're not going to use him in Volume Nine, I assume. <sighs> well, maybe now Crow and Robin will teach Aesop, and he'll be their new mentor figure. I guess I don't know. That's just me speculating. They they're going to be a sense of the new team, Ruby. <laughs> No, they're like on the other side of the world. Cause well actually we don't I don't know where Vacua is. It's not like it's on a map or something. Like it's I so but like yeah, they're on a completely different continent compared to it what was from the com You know what I'm trying to say. You you know, you know what I mean. You're smart people. Uh, and they have no idea that they went to Vacuo, because they've been out of the loop out of all of this. Uh, I wonder how Crow's gonna deal with that. It's just the fact that yeah, just about, as far as you know, everyone you know and love is dead. I mean, Crow be like, hey, so you're saying it's Tuesday then, but still. Uh, wonder that he's going to recover. Probably go back to drinking after this. This is all because I put the bottle down. That was my first mistake. I don't know. I'm gonna go watch the cafeteria fight <laughs> later.